Well, hello everyone and welcome yourselves back in to Going Medieval. Lonzi's Liberators here and we are deep in this winter now. Day 44, nine days into winter. Now, I do appreciate the tips on uh, the window closing and things like that. I honestly thought it was just a graphical thing. But actually, because I've got them set at closed, but they've never been closed, I believe. So, there's the steward thing here. So, taking care of, taking care of basic tasks like locking doors, closing windows, extinguishing torches, etc. I've put everyone as a one for that because I know people say don't use a one. Um, I don't mind them using a one for this because when I when I think about it, there's not that many of those tasks. And if six people are doing those tasks, it'll be really, really quick. So I've got them set to do that and hopefully they'll go and fix all of that there. And that includes fixing traps, which is very important, right? So they'll go ahead and set all the traps because that is part of it as well. So I learned a lot just from that one tip, so I really, really appreciate that. So thank you so much for that. Honestly, little tips like that, they are the most welcome thing, so thank you. I'm going to go ahead and chop down any trees in the settlement here that are still okay, and I'm going to get some urgent haul on some of these as well, because they are, well, they're going to take a little while, but I think because of how it is here, I'm going to go ahead. I don't want to overdo traps here. They need to kind of just be at the front. Because that's going to be too much for them all to handle. I know you said you can break down the weapons on the weapon bench or the clothery as well. I'm uh, I'm not going to do that just yet. I'll be honest with you. And I'm going to get some more bookshelves on this as well. Because this is going to get destroyed. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this. And I'm going to pop it on here. So we've got room for three more there. That little exhausted as well. He's gone to bed, I think. No, he's playing. He's going to bed now, hopefully. Garwolf, when is your bedtime? Nine o'clock. Garwolf. Garwolf, Garwolf. Ten o'clock. I think the Garwolf seems to get exhausted a bit quicker than the others. I'm going to pop him on because he has the exhaustion but needs less sleep thing, right? So I'm just going to pop him an extra hour and he should be fine. And then Settler's becoming annoyed. I need to keep a close eye on that as well. That's gone. Ignoid, ugly apparel, very thirsty, comfortable. And I'm going to go ahead and take a look. So whilst it's night time, I'm just going to let that play. But I think we're uh, we're pretty low. Let's get rid of that map. Winter clothing. Cap, summer clothing, winter clothes. Because they keep putting them on, but we have some in stock. So we should be fine. They still haven't figured out where the rugs went well. So <laughs> I am going to set a rug. We've got all of those, haven't we? Cap until winter clothes. Let's get rid of that. And let's go amount... Two. Let's make two rugs when we can, and that's fine as well. And then I'll readjust the schedule when I can as well. And I still want to get these deers into this pen. I think that'll be really useful. And now all the windows should be closed. Yes, there we go. So I was just being an idiot. And amongst that, you can obviously set the other things then. I think what I'm going to do is get rid of all the torches because the braziers are there. And then in the summer, we'll open the windows anyway. I don't think they're affected by the nighttime. Either way, because that's just like that torch there I've got in front of the door. I still need to fix this floor. I know, I know, I know. <laughs> we'll get the stone cutting done. I need to check in on that as well. But all the torches are gone. And we will have a bit of framework set up ready here as well. So yeah, that was very stupid by me. I don't know whether you can get beam across above the door. That might be something we can do. No. Okay. So you can't do it on the door. No problem. I also need another one there. So I will pop it there. This room's the right size for it not to collapse anyway, so that's fine. And then uh, we should be okay once the stone is cut. So I'm just going to come back up as well. Let's see where we're at with that. I think we need to find some limestone. So we've got some set as clay. Let me take a look around the map. We're kind of stuck at the moment without knowing where any is. There's some more. we got a very rich clay thingy there. There's a fox carcass that we will nab there as well. Food-wise, though, we're still okay. Um... I think our raw... No, we're still fine. There's plenty of milk that we can uh, we can get into cheese as well, which is good. I don't know whether we just need to dig into stuff here, but it does look like it's like thawing out a little bit. It's easier when you highlight the, uh, the pickaxe, actually. When I hover over stuff, it actually tells me what it is, which is really, really handy. I've kind of decided what I'm going to do with the settlement, by the way, guys, as well, in terms of uh, water. So I'm actually going to extend the settlement to come over this side. And I'm going to have the river come through, but I'm also going to surround it by water. I think that'll be really, really cool. So we'll have our own bridge coming through here, and then we'll have the water coming through from this as well. So we've obviously connected that in, and it'll be too deep, I think. So we'll need to actually dig, because it does have 
mechanics where it will flow downwards. So we need to keep an eye on that as well. Um, I cannot see any limestone at all. So as far as ours goes, we're a bit unlucky with that. I might dig at some salt eventually. That might be what we need to do. And then it might uncover some more nodes. But in the snow, it's not ideal. So we might just have to wait on that one. Uh, we're looking pretty good here though as well. So we're officially good on terraforming. Boom. So it is time. So we've got some more clay to obviously clay bricks to make. They are finishing that off and getting this done as well. Um, I think we need to think. Yeah, should we do it? So what I'll do, we're going to have to for the time being. I think I did set those as clay, didn't I? Yeah, we'll be fine then. As soon as I get a beam up, we'll be able to fix that floor. Because at the moment, they can't even run across here. All right. So I'm just looking to change it up here. I've taken Andrew down by one on craft. And we've popped him just so he can get on with some construction gonna knock him down to a two on animal husbandry as well because uh, the training can kind of wait um he'll get back to that eventually anyway and then we'll kind of go from there really i'm tempted to tick everything up by one we can obviously do that i think that might be that might be sensible just put everyone and then keep steward at a one and then haul at a two here so there should, there's no ones again in there now and i want to mix and match if it doesn't work i'll pop them back down again but that's fine that, in theory, should be the exact same, right? So, all right, let's speed it up. Uh, wow, look at the difference. So, it's 12 degrees inside, whilst it's 1 degrees outside because of those. I think we can get away with um, probably getting rid of this one. I'm going to deconstruct that brazier now. Because I don't want it to be near our food. Same with this one. I think we've got the, the thingy here. Um, maybe keep that one, actually, and then get rid of that one. Let's deconstruct that one. Oh no, cancel. Just one. <laughs> Nearly turned them all off there. There we go. And that should uh, prep us a little bit more there as well. I'm very excited just to finish this outer wall though. We've got to get more of our, just get up a little bit, our uh, walkway as it goes around as well. And it, I have decided I'm going to seal this one off. So I just need to figure out how we do this. So soil, we're going to need to, I'm going to bring that like so. And then I'm going to fill in this as well. So, got a big bit of a plan to do these as well. And I think I need to dig out the river still. These little patches. So, I want a nice clean river as it comes around. Um, and then I'm going to bring this wall across here as well. And then I can dig that little bit out. Just bring it across. What else do we have? Just the ramp here. I think, yep, that's all the options you do have. I do love that you have all the, obviously, the other options as well. Um, weirdly... Yeah, we probably need to get some clay windows where we want a shooting point as well, which we can do. I think it'd be nice if there was a mod or something to recycle. Like in, uh, so Alien Dawn, the base game, you can just click and recycle a piece of material into the next. And then RimWorld, there's a mod for that as well. At night time, you can see we're still hitting minus three degrees. But it's still not too bad. Um, dried meat still looks good. We're running out of cabbages and things here. So we'll just relax on that stuff. I'm still not going to go into the lavish meals yet. Um, although, I think the only extra is the herb. Now, we could ramp up, and when, when we've got the herbs in, where does that come under? Medicine, right? We've got 127. I don't want to use them just yet, but I think that is more than doable in the next summer if we get surplus of that. And I think I also want to get a little fence around this area too, so I'm just going to fence it from here. Just a nice basic, basic, basic fence to come around. If we had the limestone, I'd use that. But for the time being, for the farm area, I think I'm going to do just enough to kind of encompass this. I know the ash is in there as well, but that's fine for now. And then I'll just get a wicker gate on there. We'll get it in line with that door there as well. And then we'll get these cut down. I don't care how much is on them. I want to clear this ground here. That's red current. That's our waste at the moment. So that's fine. Wonder if we I, I kinda interpret that as being compost at some point. I might be wrong though, and then we'll get these changed into corner pieces. Rotate those round. There we go. Ah, and a lovely little start of a garden here. I think when we get into the apple trees, I might do it like an apple farm at the back. Potentially. The main 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 entrance potentially either be here or I move it more central. This could come out here. There's lots of options. We've got plenty of room. Just seen this little option actually so we'll keep that one as iron and then this one just smelt items for material so when you have it just smelt whatever i like smelt items for material does that include weapons and stuff? probably read it a bit more right here we go ah nice okay 
So I'm going to clear all, and what we'll say is any that are flimsy, I get it, we'll, we'll select any that are flimsy, because we can't be doing with flimsy. I might keep the armor for now, though, so if I go male, that's fine. Any shields that are flimsy are going to go, and any weapons are going to go. I'll keep the armors, though, that's fine. And then I guess that's how we do it on here. It is. Okay, so we can have dismantle. Dismantle forever. Edit. I love that. That's great. But anything that is flimsy, and then all of them, apart from the armor at the moment, we'll, we'll get rid of the gameson as well, and we want to craft them ourselves. Let's bin those off, so actually we don't need any of these silly piles that I keep making, right? And we could do the same for the weapons, which, yes, is here. So flimsy, clear all, allow all, sorry, we'll keep the bows for now. Maybe the crossbows. We'll get rid of the short bows if they're flimsy. Maybe? No. Uh, there's some wood armor. We'll get rid of those, though. I don't want to work with that. And there we go. We'll have that there as well when they've got the... Uh, when they get around to doing it, I think that's an ideal scenario because these guys are just placing stuff down. I don't think they can put them in the water, so let's actually just get rid of that stockpile because we're wasting time with that. They're trying to move it back and forth. I don't know if you could see that there. But bin that one off and they'll get on with some other jobs, hopefully. Yeah, we were wasting a lot of time with that stockpile. They were going back and forth, not doing anything there. So now I need to find out where Terraform sits under. And that's got to be under like mining or something. Mining, digging only. What about construction? Could be under stewarding. It says ETC. I'd like to see everything on that, but that's okay. All right, how are we looking research-wise? Wow. Um, back up to 12 again. This is great. I might even go into beekeeping ready because we're going to be coming into uh, spring soon. I can see it. I can feel it. I don't know how many days. So we're, we're 46 days in and we're in the winter. So that means we're pretty much coming to the end of it now, which is nice. Um, all of these foxes causing issues on our traps. But it's given us some meat at least, which is nice. There we go. Adam's on that tailor now. Let's see if he can make some good good quality stuff here. I think he's just making rugs. Now, I haven't seen where... When it's made, do you get an option to place it? I'm not seeing how to place a rug. All right, so apparently it goes onto your stockpile. Ah, there we go, and you go install. Gotcha. That's a fine rug right there, and it's this man that doesn't like it, right? <laughs> I'm going to get you a nice rug in your bedroom. And then we've got another one right here. We've got a few, actually. Uh, so, deer hide, a sturdy one. We're going to install that, and I think I'm going to install that uh, in the library. Kind of makes sense, right? And then we've got one more over here, which is a rush matting. I'm going to install the rush matting under the table. I actually need to fix these chairs here, too. So I'm going to deconstruct all three chairs, and we're going to have to change the table up soon. I'm going to expand this anyway when we've got a bit more. How are you guys looking? You're almost there, right? Ripening. We'll be able to grab this uh, flax soon as well. But yeah, once they're gone, I'm going to build that into some proper chairs, which will add to comfort as well. I'm going to work on their happiness a little bit. Oh, there's another animal there. This has worked out really well for the only way in. Giving us a good amount of food right there, so happy with that. That smoked, the smoked meat is just the way to go, right? Settlers becoming annoyed. Let's take a look. Mood's not the best. Um, desperately thirsty. I don't know if we have any ale or anything. I'm not sure we do. No, fodder's getting really low as well. Um, we we kind of need the snow to disappear. Right, I'm going to slowly tidy up. I'm just going to deconstruct a few of these tree spots now. They're growing anyway. Um, and what we're going to do is potentially move that outside and just plant any... Make a bit of a wood farm away from base as well. I need to fill this back in because this kind of messes with what we're going to do with our trench as well. So... I'm going to need some soil into these guys. So I think I'm going to go that far, potentially. Obviously, we it gets rid of the soil on our store, but we might not have enough. So once they built the others, they'll do that. That's why the exclamation mark goes there, I've realized. It's because they can't actually reach it. Um, I think we'll go one more in, actually. Let's go there, because I think I might go with a four-wide river eventually. I like the idea of the amount of milk we're getting, too. I don't know how it ferments. I think it just does automatically i need to have a look that's tallow vinegar gotta be downstairs the milk right yeah the milk's right there so decomposes how do we get that into curdling was that on the cooking no okay let me know on that one as well i know i ask a few questions but that, that is great if you could tell me um yeah got a lot of hauling still going on lots of moving around still to do i'm kind of letting them do it 
Um, I think the building's definitely taking a hit. So what I think I'm going to do is say, Andrew and Adam, I'm just going to knock you down one on both of those so you focus on building. I want the rest of these done. Let's get it sorted, especially now we've got the bridge coming up. We need this wall to be finished along here. So there we go. That's all it needed. Just a little tick there and we'll be good to get all that done. Still don't have the iron for this reinforced door, so I might need to change that temporarily and put that as a, another door. But I think we'll just leave it open. Worst case is uh, we'll have to put some more traps down here. I might put some basic stick traps along the bridge or just this side of the bridge, maybe. I don't know. I do have a feeling that construction falls under this, though, as well. I was asked as well about uh, whether there was like a shooting target. So in Alien Dawn, if none of you have played it, I highly recommend it, by the way, if you have, if you enjoy this, because Alien Dawn is just more futuristic version. Um, but it plays very, very similar, which is nice. But there is an option to level up your shooting skill or combat by shooting a, a target, essentially. But I don't think we have them. Unless there's a research for it, there may well be. We do have enough for beekeeping now. I don't know where we want to set that up. How much are these guys then? I'd like to get a few statues and stuff in, but that is quite late on. Maybe ice making could be good. Decorative structures. We could get some wooden deer heads. I think we, we do just go along this. The infirmary bed. How good is that? Whether we build the infirmary. I still don't think we need it. Let's go beekeeping. I'm kind of... If the bees work hard, this woven hive will overflow with liquid gold, honey, and malleable wax. Yes. Oh, it costs hay, so I actually, I'm not going to build it just yet, guys, because we don't have any. I need to make sure that last bit of fodder is saved for these guys, because the... Oh, it is warming up. There we go. So outside, 8 degrees now. I can see why there's still snow is beyond me, but uh, <laughs> it is what it is. It's thawing out. I'm excited to see some limestone. Let's get it sped up so we can get to that point then. I think these were ripening nice and well. That's good. Um, I think we're going to need to go back to gardening now. So the plants. So botany under uh, grow and harvest. We've got Adam. I think he's always going. He's going to do tailoring first. We've got Garwolf, and he should do that actually. I'm looking at this. The only thing he'll do before is convalesce or be a patient. Should be fine. So I might even go as a two on that for Garwolf. So he's always doing it, and then maybe take him as a two on steward. We need that gardening to happen. Garwolf, that's your thing. So go ahead and do it. And the building's coming up nicely. It was mentioned, by the way, I just want to point out that I did tick the vermin control under the cat. You'll see that there. The vermin control is being handled. We don't need to worry about that one at all as well. So just keep that in mind. I did do it originally. Oh, look, we filled in the, uh, the dirt over here. That looks awesome. Okay, so let's go ahead and get these copied then. There we go. And I'm going to actually deconstruct these here. So all of those can go, and that's going to be set as a round corner piece like so beautiful there we go all right we are officially out of clay bricks as well so it feels like when i did change that it did mess with it so um craft i think we need to make sure at least one person is always crafting but there we go survive a full year we are officially back in spring which is fantastic and i think sybil sybil do you want to no we need the research we're doing animals i think dwight might be the man for the job he's mainly just hunting not onto smithing yet, so let's put him as a two for craft. And then we'll get all that jobs done as well. Oh, here comes the rain as well. I really want this snow to disappear. Can we do anything over here? Got all that clay. I really want a good amount of limestone from somewhere. There was a salt patch over here somewhere as well. I just need... To... Oh, hold on. There's spring. So this could help. I did just hover over. So it's clay. Welcome back to spring though. That's going to be really handy. And I think what I'm going to do is actually turn off these brazies now. I reckon just one of them maybe in each room just for now. The rug is in as well. Let's take a look. Make sure just these are off. They actually turn off automatically, which is nice. One less job for them to do. So uh, we'll keep those. And then let's get that one turned off as well. This room's not important. And there's the, the rug gone in. And obviously that is... I thought I set this to your bedroom. Why does it keep changing? Is it Dwight with the problem? Dwight's a bit of a baby, actually, isn't he? Hmm. Ill-favoured. Yeah, it's Garwolf, so that should be your bedroom. Have I just got it wrong? Dwight. Yeah, that should be Garwolf right there. You get the rug, mate. Fine, fine rug in your bedroom. I just need to make sure that is his religious alignment as well. Devout restitutionalist. Yep, that is. Cool, that's your bedroom then. Lovely, look at this. Nice bit of colour back on the map now. Let's have a proper look now and desperately there look there's the patch of 
salt. So I think I might dig around that and see. Worst case is we'll have a bit of salt, right? Let's see if we can get to something there. Uh, we have so much clay. There's just no limestone anywhere. Is that a bear? Ooh, careful over there. There's a bear. Couple of patches. Oh, here we go. Iron. Look at that. Boom. I see you. There we go. Very, very nice. So we, we still could do with some limestone, but I'll take the iron for now. That's actually really good. There's also salt in that clay deposit there. Um, and let's grab these ones here. There's a, we'll cut out those and see if that helps. And then I just need to find... Wow, well, we need fodder. I'm going to keep looking as well. Whole big clay deposit. We have so much clay. I think we just have to build in that. Just no, no stone. But I definitely wanted limestone down in the fridge. I thought they'd look really, really nice. Couple more dead animals out here as well. Let's allow those and we will urgently haul you. Another wolf there as well. We'll go with that for now. That'll have to do. Uh, at least we'll have the iron for the gate. And then we just need to find a bit of limestone. Oh, group of animals has arrived. A dog. I'm going to prioritize that brick wall. Where's the dog? Wildlife. Dog, 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 dog. We, we need to tame that. Does it become mine? Where's the dog? Oh, we got more babies too. Check this out. What have we got? Male, great. Oh, female, nice. Right, male, I'm really sorry, but we've got to get rid of a male here, so I'll probably sell them. Yeah, we've got a few males to uh, to sell off there. Oh, it counts as ours. Look at that. I'm going to take training off all of these now. Um, yeah, Betula, the dog. So, nice. We're going to make sure we train the dog. Where are you? Cute dog as well. Yeah, we're going to train the dog, because I know for a fact the dog, you can like kind of leave hauling and then i can turn them off hauling a little bit and that's going to come in really really handy to get things done isn't it speed it up again let's see what's going on i think we've built nothing over here the mining's still not happening i think i need to change up our thingies again just looking here to see what they're doing there's still so much hauling they need to do so let's actually make that a three it'll happen when they need it right and then mining 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 who are we going to have mining? I'm tempted to put that down for everyone. Because it's not very often we're going to need them to mine. Right? So let's just let's just turn that down. Let's get our windows open as well. Well, in a moment. Not yet. We'll keep them shut for this little period here. Building's looking good though as well. This does make me happy. And then we just need to obviously get the focus on this with the iron. So if I grab someone to go mine these first. There we go. See them all flip to the mining and digging. Uh, they're going to have to do a little bit at a time, but that's fine. We're going to get a bunch of salt. This is going to help with preservatives, right? Settlers are exhausted. I think Garwolf, again, still struggling. So I might give him the extra. I might just put them all back to where they were. Although Dwight's not struggling, actually. Dwight, you can stay like that. And then it looks like all of our flax is harvestable. Do we want to wait until it's fully done? Yeah, we're going to leave that growing. Now, I don't know if the fodder comes back. I'm not seeing it anywhere. I'll be honest with you guys, I don't see any grass across the map to actually take. Hmm. <laughs> I, need to, I need to get on top of that as well. Oh man, I am still loving this game though. It's so good, man. It's great. Oh, look at this. Last few. But it's great to, um, I just love learning like the colony side of things. It's just awesome. That one looks like it's cuttable. Let's go with that. I think we're going to be at a point where we can expand this. So I'm actually going to relocate our merchant stall now. And I think I'm just going to pop it over over here out the way and then we'll also do the same for the caravan thing so i'm just going to say go over there um i want to free up this little area here because i think once this cuts down i'm gonna reassess and get this going there's some iron nuggets on there costs a fortune just to get some iron bars though ugly apparel desperately thirsty we we need some berries don't we i know i know we're working on it what's that there iron there's an iron node right outside how much easier it is to see. Oh, look at this. Three polecats. Yes. Nice. We're getting so much meat, man. It's awesome. And it's not becoming a problem for the meals either, so that's good. How are we looking downstairs? Did you build it yet? You did. Nice. Right, Andrew, after you've prayed, can you come and construct this? And hopefully I can build my floor again. There you go. Go construct that, mate. That's your next job. Only a few pieces. We've got this one that will definitely work, so that's good. There we go. Can I get my beams over now? Yeah, there we are. Nice. And then I can obviously expand this to go over that as well. So expand this zone. Got to make use of all this. 
There you go. That'll do. We're slowly but surely getting less on these anyway. You can actually turn those off so you can see a little bit better. That actually does look a lot better, doesn't it? Um, I need the armor thingies as well. We got enough. Where do you get the armor stands? So weapon got to be under like these, hasn't it? I reckon it's once you unlock the armor table, you can kind of go into that one. Reserving food, that's got to be the salt. Yeah, packaged meal. Chemistry, that's going to be medicine. Breweries, distilling, painting, furniture, four. That's a royal bed. Wow. We don't have the iron. We're going to have to buy the iron when we get it, aren't we? And look at this. They've built that one out. Almost all of it. Nice. Settlers are suffer. Oh my god, someone. What is going on, Andrew? Can you save Sybil before she dies? He dies. What the hell are you doing in there? Oh no. Why are you... I think Sybil's going to die. Oh, well, Sybil's dead then. <laughs> like, I don't even know what just happened because I can't even save them. Uh, Andrew just casually eating. Um, okay. Bye, Sybil. It's been nice knowing you. Critical condition. What about you, Adam? Can you do anything about it? Nope, nobody can help you, so Sybil is dead. Wow. Wow, okay, I just don't know what happened. Uh, it's not the end of the world, I guess. Is it because we don't have any stairs? I'm going to do the sensible thing and build some stairs into the water. How annoying. Andrew, can you, can you prioritize? Prioritize delivering body there, please. That'd be wonderful. Wow. Guys, I don't know what I did wrong there. I don't know if that's a bug or what the hell happened there, but we have lost one of our main people that was doing stuff there, which is frustrating. Um, I guess on the plus side is we've got a spare bedroom. <laughs> um, I'll keep that bed, and what we'll do is assign... So who do, who have we got? Andrew. Audrey, Garwolf, and Dwight. It's just Adam. Adam, if I assign you... You've got that bed, so that's good. Then we've got the one spare there. Perfect. I'm also going to go ahead and deconstruct. I don't know whether that gets rid of our books. Let's get rid of those, and they should move them across as well. Wow, that, that's annoying. I mean, it happens, I guess. Did he Was he just exhausted and he fell asleep in the water, maybe? Who knows? Who knows? There's a ramp there, though. You can definitely, they've been swimming and stuff. I don't know what just happened, really. Oh, well, we'll get the stairs up anyway, so we don't have an issue again. Other than Adam. That's a bit sad. A little bit sad. Oh, doesn't matter. <laughs> Welcome! <laughs> you are going to replace our friend here. What, what have you? You're an intellect. Beachcraft and smithing as well. Two perks. So let's take a look. She's not in a good way. Deep arm laceration. No problem. Blood loss two per hour. So we just need to get this saved. Let's take a look at your skills before we do anything else. So botany, intellect. Oh, not bad. Marksman's a two though, which is terrible. Uh, okay. And you have lightweight. Really cannot hold a drink. Even a tiny tipple will make... Okay, I need to restrict, say, no drinks for you. Uh, loves nothing better than the biting air and crisp frost of midwinter. She thrives in the cold. That's not a bad one. Carrying wounded to bed. Adam's already on it then. Okay, so we've got a new settler then. Uh, where is she? Audrey. Audrey, you like to hunt. Oh, don't know. I'm not looking at you. You. That's better. Patient and convalescence the same. Urgent hall we can keep the same. So, as far as botany goes then, you're going to be grower and harvest. I'm going to swap Garwolf probably over to cutting. And maybe not harvesting. You can harvest. Then cut. You like that as well. We'll have you pretty much just doing that. But carpentry is a zero, but you like it. Mything's the same. Research is the same. Let's get you on a two for stew. That will have to do for the moment. Um, as far as construction goes, we should be fine as well. So, that's a good job. Let's get her attended to. Nice carry back. She's really far away. Don't know how he swims her back either. But he is saving her. A little bit sad. We would have been on seven settlers. Would have been nice to have the uh, spare pair of hands. But it is what it is. There is 51 iron nuggets on that pile. So I need to make sure someone is crafting a lot. As well. Maybe you can do that as well. And then maybe take you off steward. Yeah, that sounds good. And then... Four bedrooms. So I feel like we should make... We definitely need to make these. I know I heard you on the two-story. It is a good idea. I think I'm just going to build another separate bedroom for now. All right. With everything going on there, then, I've just flipped that door over. 
from the iron one whilst we wait for the smelting to happen and we'll get the wooden door in just for the time being because we got a little bit of catching up to do i got well a lot of catching up to do until this wall's done we just need to make sure that is cornered off and i'll get that one flipped over once we're ready i think that's probably for the best um we've got a bit of an issue with settlers being really unhappy dwight is severely unhappy here because his friend did die though um there's not a lot i can do other than get him to like play with things and maybe eat nice food but we're a bit limited on that at the moment so that's fine i think where we're at now though is a great place to kind of end this one out so guys as always i really appreciate you joining me we've got to be getting attacked soon i hope so we'll see where we're at in the next episode um and i'll prep around for that hopefully anyway i'm hoping they do come this way if they don't we're screwed as always, please do subscribe if you aren't already and check out if you want to support me that little bit extra on Patreon or memberships. As always, guys, take it easy. Have a great day. I'll see you in the next one.